it's the weekend and it's time to trash away and take out all the empty cans at the end of the week and anything that has like an ounce two ounces three ounces in them they're all they're all partial cans uh recover them put them into a dedicated tank like this is r410 uh, r134 r410 this is empty and has no designation right now r134 these are all to be uh, go off site and recycled. This is already oh, recycled in full. That's 134. And the guys in commercial and residential, uh, you automotive guys don't know this, but the guys who are in commercial and residential, they don't recycle their refrigerant. They could use it by the EPA rules. They could reuse and use on site for the owner of the building for their equipment. They could take their refrigerant out and they could put it into his system of the equipment of an owner of a business. But for you guys in automotive, you guys get to recycle and take the refrigerant out. Like here's the 134. So and you get to take it out of 20 different vehicles, mix it all together, put it through the recycling machine that removes oils, acids, particulate matter, and air, and then it cleans it up back to a specification that's good enough to put back in cars. And we get to do that with the old R12, well, not many of you do. Here's the YF refrigerant. So this stuff's 200 and, what do I sell it for? $207 a pound. So this is all the YF, and this is what it looks like. And uh, at the end of the week, I grab the end of uh, the containers, and then I'll get these empty ones, and they all have like an ounce, two ounce in each one of those, uh, sometimes three ounces. That adds up every week. You take out a week's work in containers and you get about a pound. And now with today's crazy ass prices, even worthless R410, you know, several months ago, just last year, we were getting this stuff for $79 a container, $119 a container, and now it's 400 and something. R134, we were getting 30s. For $79 to $109 was my price on R134. And now they're, would I pay $340 for a container, $345. So recycling it, it adds up at the end of the week. I mean, right here, what I'll re recover out of all these 410s for this week will, you know, probably be about five pounds, four pounds of refrigerant out of the leftover containers. And there's a lot of guys who used to just bleed that stuff off of the air or, you know, they get down to the last pressure and then toss it. Um, that's It adds up at the end of the year. If you go through, you know, 100, 200, 300 pounds a week in your business and then you just put it into your waste gas or something because you couldn't get no more out of it, even if you're down to vapor, what I've noticed when there's no liquid in here, you move it around, you feel absolutely nothing. I get anywhere from three to four ounces of liquid refrigerant after it goes through a recovery machine and gets uh, condensed back into a liquid. So there's a lot of money sitting there, and uh, especially with this stuff here. But that's it. Um, that's what my Saturday or my Sunday pertain of at the end of the week. I'm doing this for a while. Okay, see you guys.